When you are buying a home, one of the most important things is the home inspection. It usually takes place right after you have an accepted offer and it is incredibly important for two reasons. Number one, it will give you an accurate understanding of all the little things that are going on with every house and it will also reveal if there is any big problems, what we call material defects, that need to be negotiated and taken care of with the seller before we are closing on the home. So there is a lot of questions about what exactly is a home inspection, how does it work, how long does it take, what's part of the home inspection and what is not. Today I'm talking to Ian and Katie from Home Team, two of my favorite home inspectors. I've been working with them for many, many years and they have some really good answers for all those questions. Hey Ian and Katie, great to have you on the call. You're one of my favorite home inspectors. We've been, we've been working together for, for many, many years. And I know you guys are crazy busy. I think you're doing uh, close to 100 inspections a month. And yep. the, the market's very, very hot. So I appreciate you taking the time this morning. Uh, a, lot of my, sure. a lot of my clients are asking me, um, you know, what to expect from a home inspection. So I thought we can um, record a quick video and give them a little bit of an idea what they're walking into with, uh, with the home inspection. So maybe we'll start with that. What is a home inspection in the first place? So a home inspection is just a snapshot in time of the uh, home that we're entering. Um, it's really just kind of documenting the current condition of the house as it is that day uh, or that afternoon when we're there. Um, it covers really essentially everything from the roof all the way down to the foundation and all the major systems in a house. So your electrical system, your plumbing system, the heating and cooling systems, um, and then just, you know, general functionality test of all the components within their outlets, windows, faucets, drains, showers, toilets, that kind of thing. Um, it's meant to find the big stuff, uh, the structural issues, safety hazards, material defects. It's not meant to document the crayon on the wall or the, you know, torn blinds or, or even, you know, a, a hole in the door because the 16 year old kid got mad. It's, it's there to, to find the big stuff that, that is going to have a, an impact either financially or structurally on the home uh, over time. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, a lot of clients seem to think that the home inspection is a pass fail test. That's not correct, right? No, <laughs> correct. Uh, there is no such thing as the pass fail. Um, it's just simply, uh, like, a, like I said, documenting uh, the, the, the things that are, are either in, you know, incorrect, wrong, um, anomalies with the, within you know, the home. Uh, there, there's things that we come up with on brand new construction, uh, which does get inspections uh, from time to time. Um, and, and there's things with 100-year-old you know, homes. So there, there's no such thing as a clean inspection there's always some sort of advice maintenance um you know minor leaks or outlets or whatever might come up um, it, but it, it certainly isn't a pass or fail yeah i'm used to your inspection reports being usually about like 35 40 pages long with lots and lots of bullet points and pictures with arrows pointing at things so a lot of these are are, are minor things and and not really big ticket items um are, what are the things that you would be looking, if you would be buying a home for yourselves, what would be the things that you would be concerned about the most if you would be buying a home? For me, it would be the foundation. Um, I, if it has a good foundation, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think that the foundation is the most important because if it's not good, you're going to find other things that are going to kind of start to go with the home. So, um, to me, it would be a foundation and, um, yeah, I would agree. F foundation is probably the, the key component. Um, you know, I'm in the camp that everything is fixable. Um, I'm also very handy. Uh, so a lot of those other things don't, they might become something, um, you know, sometimes there can be issues where, uh, from a financial impact, it's of concern. Um, so incredibly old wiring like knob and tube wiring or something like that where it's a pretty major systems upgrade uh, mm -hmm. that might be of concern but uh, mainly the the bigger stuff um, you know, all, yeah, the, all those little things that we know we come across those during the inspection and we find it important to put them in there um, just for reference points or for future maintenance tips 
because some of those things can lead to bigger, more costly problems. Um, an example would be gutters, you know, missing gutter extensions. 90% of foundation basement water issues are directly related to gutters or grade. You know, so <laughs> while they seem kind of minor, um, you know, those can turn into major things. So, um, but, you know, in the, in the grand scheme of things, the bigger stuff, foundation um, would be probably key. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good roof. <laughs> and having a good roof over, over your house. So we're looking, <laughs> we're looking for the big ticket items. So if, if somebody is booking an inspection with you, how does that work? How does the <clears throat> inspection physically look like? Who's going to be there? What, what to expect from a home inspection? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to call us and um, I'm going to ask you a couple quick questions about the home and uh, the address and then uh, just some of your contact information. I'm going to put that into our system. You'll get an email um, and that email is our inspection agreement. You electronically sign it. Uh, there's payment information in there. You can pay online. You can pay at the time of the inspection and then you wait for your inspection day to come and then um, this guy shows up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you usually yeah, and show up in a, in a team with two inspectors, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, there's always at least two of us. If the house is a little bit bigger, we'll send more people. That doesn't cost you any or the client anymore. Uh, it's just how we operate. Um, but we all have a defined role um, and, and we kind of divide and conquer uh, and we go through the house and we, like I mentioned, we document things. Uh, we take a lot of pictures. Some of it makes the report, some it's just for reference. So it doesn't necessarily mean anything's wrong uh, when we're doing that. Um, but we collect all that data. Uh, we're all in the same report at the same time. So many of those systems get overlapped. Uh, things like foundation, things like plumbing. Uh, a lot of that stuff gets covered by more than one person, um, but it's collectively it, it housed in the same report. Um, we encourage people to follow along. Uh, we encourage people to ask questions. There's no better time to learn about it than right there in person. Um, if you can't be or you are uh, preoccupied, it's also a great time for you guys to buyers to uh, take advantage of the home without all the pressures uh, that are there, without competitive bidders or you know other realtors or you know they, they really get a chance to get a feel for the home and, and can they see themselves in it uh, and also do all those little things like take measurements and things like that because it's usually the last chance to get before final walkthrough. But no matter what, we'll grab that person towards the end and do a rundown of all the different things that we saw. Some of them are, are real easy and self-explanatory and others sometimes we gotta take you and show you uh, where it is. Or if it's something real simple, we can point out, this is how you fix it. You know, mm -hmm. It'll be in the report, but this is how you can just take care of that. Um, so it's, it's, it's nice to have buyers there for that. Yeah, I, th I think this is a great point because, you know, pointing out things that are uh, an issue is one thing. But like you said before, there's always a, a solution to that. It's just if you haven't worked on a home before, you may not know what different options there are. So I think that's very beneficial to have a chat at the end and talk about, you know, how can certain things be addressed? You know, who would be a right contractor to do that? And is this going to be a very large expense or is this going to be, a, you know, maybe minor? So if somebody wants to book a home inspection with you, can they find you online? Can they call you? Yeah, they can find us online. Um, you can go to www.hometeam.com. Slash um, North Shore. Slash North Shore. We are the North Shore office of Home Team. Okay. Um, and <laughs> that's important. Um, you, our phone number is 414-455-2997. Um, you're going to get me. I work the office and um, yeah, it's just a super simple process to, to, to get you on the books and get you started. And um, we love answering questions. So call with those. So after the inspection is completed and hopefully all your questions have been answered by Ian, Elliot and Katie, the next step is that you will receive an inspection report. And I have a sample here that I want to show you for a typical house this particular report is 42 pages long and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a sense for what that will actually look like so it begins with the first section here which is a summary and that will give you first uh, safety concerns so oftentimes there are smaller issues there's smoke smoke alarms missing or carbon monoxide detectors missing so Often these safety things are serious, but usually very easy to take care of. Then the next chapter here of uh, major issues uh, circle around plumbing. Then we have a little chapter here for kitchen. 
um, an issue with Windows. Um, it's actually quite a bit and then a little bit about the HVAC system. So that's just a high level summary. And then as you go into the report, you can see there's lots of pictures with measurements, which makes it very, very easy for me as the agent to go and reach out to the seller and say, look, picture number one is showing this, picture number two is showing that. So there's there's no discussion about what the actual problem is. So you have it all here. In this case, we have an inch of um, a trip hazard concrete sagging here. Um, so there's no arguing because we have we have a picture in here. They check every single window. So issues like this here that the homeowner may not even be keenly aware of uh, will come up and then it's much easier to address those issues. And in this case, the homeowner knew at least about this window because they, they had to fix it up. But this is the importance about the report because a lot of these things are easy to take care of. Some of them are a little bit more difficult. We want to know the costly ones. So we are not so interested typically in $100, $200 repairs. There's typically a very long list of these things and most of them are non-critical. So as I mentioned earlier, oftentimes this report becomes the basis for some further negotiations and we're looking for the big ticket items for what we call major or material defects that need to be taken care of before the buyer is willing to move ahead with the purchasing process and actually close on the house. I hope you had some good takeaways from the, this video and the uh, issue of home inspection is a little bit more clear and you know what to expect. If you found this video beneficial, I think it would be awesome if you would subscribe and keep updated with all things real estate in the greater Milwaukee area. I'll see you at the next video.